Well, after all the buildup, the time has come. Nebraska and Florida about to take the field at the Fiesta Bowl to decide the national championship. First out, the Cornhuskers, right number one in the country. Coach Tom Osborne's team has won 24 straight, looking for back-to-back -back national championships. Tommy Frazier has been his quarterback, aside from a few injuries during his career since his freshman year. And there's Lawrence Phillips, who will start tonight in the backfield for the Cornhuskers. Tommy Frazier, the leader of this Nebraska team. And now the Florida Gators, the second ranked team in the nation. Also an undefeated season, 12-0. The SEC champions directed by Steve Spurrier, the most decorated player in Florida history and coach as well. He won the 1966 Heisman and has led them now to three straight SEC championships. Just a moment ago, it was Bill Cosby handling the honors for the coin flip. Nebraska won the toss and deferred. Florida will receive. Chris Brown ready to kick. Nebraska again, Terry, won the toss but elected to give Florida the chance to take the football first. Well, you know, Steve, I, uh, uh, Jim, I've never seen two teams that are more confident than these two teams. They reflect the attitude of their head coaches. I've just never seen anything like it. Retail Anthony will run it back for the Gators. Anthony, another speedster, and look out. Out across the 30 to the 40-yard line, a big return by Retail Anthony. What a In college football history, breaking the single-season pass efficiency mark of Jim McMahon. The 35 touchdowns led the country in that total as well. Warfel's backs and somewhat overlooked Elijah Williams, who rushed for 858 yards. Jerome Evans is the fullback. Tremaine Allen, they seldom go to the tight end. Chris Doring and Ike Hilliard combined for 32 touchdown catches. The offensive line started every game this year with Jason Odom, a four-year starter, and Reggie Green as well. Same thing, four years starter on that line. Jeff Mitchell, Donna Young, Mo Collins to the 40-yard line, and here come the Gators. Three wides to the right. Three-step drop, and Florida near a first down at the 50-yard line. Chris Doring, give him nine yards. Mike Minter on the coverage. They spread him out right away. Here's Nebraska, defense that had two shutouts this year. Tomich, we've talked about him. The Peter brothers from New Jersey, Christian and Jason. Grant Wistrom, a sophomore. Linebackers, Foreman, Ellis, and Farley in the secondary that will be tested. Booker and Tyrone Williams, Mike Minter, and Tony Veland. Second down and one, staying with three receivers in the game. And then dropped. Incomplete. Terrell Farley is looking ahead downfield, ready to run with it. Third and one. Out of the eye. Elijah Williams has the first down. So the Gators escape. First and ten. Still with Doring Hilliard and Redell Anthony, the receivers. With pressure, they get to Werfel this time. And there's Jared Tomich in that whole group of Cornhuskers. Second down of 14. Pass caught, Doring. Doring down to the 32 and another Gator first down. Short drop again, Doring slicing across the middle for another first down. Flood that right side this time. 
Seventh play of the opening drive. First down for the Gators. Warfel. Farley was coming after him. Man open. It's Doring again. He is wide open out there. And out of bounds at the six. Them up first and goal at the five. Looking right side. It's Doring again. He let him too much. This gets over 80%. Second and goal. Into the line with Williams losing a yard. A line. What will they do here? Third and goal at the five. Good time. Pass too high. Doring was the intended receiver. Regular kicker three years ago. Took a couple of years where he backed up. He's returned and he's opened the game with a 23-yard field goal. So the Gators take the opening kick and march to a field goal. We'll check out Nebraska next. I think it's very critical. Clinton Childs. A good running back also here in Nebraska. He's back deep. Along with Damon Benning. And Teague's kick. Fielded at the 11. It's Childs to the 32. Ball, ball foul. foul. Personal foul. Yes, it's a kicking game. To the kickoff, Jim. Here comes the Huskers. Tommy Frazier under center. And Lawrence Phillips. Left side. Only a yard. Lawrence Phillips, a controversial start tonight with Jeff McAvicka, the fullback, Mark Gilman, the tight end. Wingback is Clester Johnson. Brandon Holbein is the split end. An offensive line, another strong one here at Nebraska, the anchor being Aaron Graham. They have not allowed a sack, by the way, all season. And through 163 times. Second down, Phillips. Here goes Lawrence Phillips, breaking one inside the 30. Brought down by Anthone Lott after a 23-yard dash. The smooth option operator keeps it down to the 21 with Dexter Daniels making the hit. This is a Florida defense maligned by some, but uh, boy, you look at the figures and that tough SEC in seven of their nine games against the SEC teams they face, they allow one touchdown or less. On the line, Church, Barnard, Chester, and Campbell, the linebackers, Daniels, who made the last hit, Bates, and Ben Hanks, longtime leader on this team. Fred Weary and Lott are the corners. Wright and Brown are the safeties. Second down and four. Stop short of the first. Already have tonight. Third down and two. Nebraska from the 20. Frazier keeps. Frazier on second effort picks up the first. Two set of downs. Sixth play of the opening drive for Nebraska. Frazier looking left side now. Wide open over there. Phillips. Phillips inside the 10. Lawrence Phillips scores the game's opening touchdown. Jim, Nebraska has done this for 30 years. They start their offense one way, and then they come back with a counter play, either a pass or a run. This was a little counter pass from the quarterback back to the tailback for the touchdown. Chris Brown in, extra point. Blocked. And that's something Florida has specialized in this year. I'll tell you, that 15-yard penalty was a big one, too. They started their series at the 48. They run it five times and then throw it for a touchdown. Jim, it's hard to give to Nebraska that kind of field position. So 6-3, Cornhuskers. Florida with the second possession for them. Off the option, something you don't expect to see a lot of. Elijah Williams with Terrell Farley wrestling him out of bounds for no gain.
An illegal block. First and 21 from the nine. Dwayne Mobley is the fullback out of the eye. Williams the tailback. Elijah Williams, only two yards. Football was loose. They rule him down. Second and 19. High formation. Off a of play action. Warfel, excellent protection. Throwing cross his body. Doring was the intended receiver. Overthrew him. Five receivers in for the Gators. Third and 19. Quickly, Doring. Doring to the 20. Some 10 yards shy of a first. Jim, Nebraska will have an excellent field position following this punt. Back along with Octavius McFarlane. Pullman who ran it back this year. Not anything on this one, though. Tony George has a wing back. Lining up in a slot. Here's Phillips. Looking for a hole. Only about three yards. What's the year about? The head of Reggie Ball. Result take this story. It's been raging most of the season and inflame it and somewhat raise that issue again. Is this an improper message starting him? But he starts and he scores a touchdown on the first series. Well, I think once you decide that the player's reinstated in on the team, once you say that, then I think the best player Ball plays. Snap. Ball, Ball start, start on the, on the offense. offense. Phillips. Phillips is truly one of the great running backs in the country today. He may have won the Heisman Trophy if he had been eligible the entire season. Third down, 12. Florida giving a chase. Frazier in trouble. Intercepted by the Gators. So the first turnover of the game committed by Nebraska. Tico Brown, the freshman from Miami. Picking up right there again. With another turnover play, and here comes Florida with Ike Hilliard. It'll be the last time I'm sure we'll see Hilliard tonight. Second and four. Here comes a little razzle-dazzle play, and it's Terry Jackson near the first down for the Gators. But first, let's watch it. Third and one, two tight ends in for Florida. And they get it on the ground, a tough yard. Terry Jackson, I believe he has it. In the backfield and three receivers on fourth and inches. Now they clear out the backfield. Quarterback sneak. And Phil Ellis may have denied him. First and ten. Florida from the Nebraska 43. Timeout call by Werfel. And the injury takes out one of the backup linebackers for Florida's attack. First and ten. Play action to the line. Werfel looking to Hilliard. Had a shot at that one. Joined the Gators instead. Steve Spurrier thrilled to have him. He has scored 19 touchdowns his first two seasons. Second and ten. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Trying to find Goring. Coming over to assist on third and ten. Seventh play for Florida on this drive, and there's Redell Anthony for the first down at the 29. 14-yard completion. And Redell Anthony sets up Florida inside of the 30. The flags are down, the play whistle dead. Dead ball, ball false start, start on the, on the offense. offense. Five-yard Five penalty, still, still first, first down. down. First and 15. Looking down toward the end zone. Hilliard was down there, but knocked away by Michael Booker. From the 34. Terry Jackson, Jerome Evans, split behind Werfel. More protection and just a, a pass of the short variety with Phil Ellis coming in on the tackle. Third down and 10. This is about as far out, too, as they could expect from their place kicker. 
Adele Anthony down at the three yard line. 26 yards. Two tight ends. Elijah Williams has come in a tailback. Pitch. Elijah trying to get outside, trying to get past Ellis. Makes the move. And they say short of the goal line. Second and goal. Quarterback sneak again. Werfel just reached out and found the goal line. Touchdown, Florida. Same play that they used earlier on this series on the fourth down call near midfield. They cleared everybody out, and Werfel on the sneak first got him a first down. This time got him a touchdown. One of the things that's so hard about this Florida offense is they spread you out and then they can run the ball or they spread you out and they can throw it. And Edmiston for the extra points as he has done all season. 72 of 72. Edmiston making it 10-6 Florida. Kick taken by Childs, weaving near the 30. <laughs> Phillips. Tough to bring oh, down, oh, out to the 36. Inside they go. And that's Jeff. Makavica. Three receivers in for the Cornhuskers. Phillips. Phillips to the 50. Final seconds of the first quarter. And uh, wide open first quarter. What people were hoping for. Florida with a touchdown and a field goal. Danny Warfel on the quarterback sneak. The Gators lead after 1-10-6. We'll continue after this message and a word from your local station. Second and two for the Cornhuskers at midfield. John Bedrill has come in as a third receiver. On the keep. Frazier tucking that ball away. Being careful at the last minute. Went to Bradenton Manatee where Tommy Frazier played his career. Looked up to Tommy. Tommy said, hey, he can't impersonate me totally. Jim? Lawrence Phillips breaking one inside the 10, a touchdown, Nebraska. Phillips. This is Nebraska football. Behind the best line in the United States, Lawrence Phillips gets the ball deep, cuts back, and runs, runs through the Florida Gators for the touchdown. The, the key to Florida's defense tonight is going to be tackling, Jim. They've got to tackle better than they did on that run to stay in this game with Nebraska. Chris Brown for the extra point. 13-10, Nebraska. I think you said it. Here's the run back. And it looked like a reverse setup for a moment, but Anthony holds on wisely because Nebraska was down there on that play. Let's see how the Gators respond. Warfel gets away, but there's a flag thrown. And Warfel all the way out to the 42, but it looks like a holding call coming up. That flag is in the general area that they usually call offensive holding on the holding. line. It's going to do that all night long so they can keep bringing fresh players on the pass rush. First and 24, and the Gators backed up at the eight-yard line. Get the ball. Ball, ball start. start. That's Florida's fifth penalty. First and 28. Terry Jackson lined up. Now he's uh, coming out of the 
end zone in motion. This is that five receiver set. Werfel, look out! They're in on him. Should be a safety. Football might have been that close also. They're going to rule him down just inches outside of the end zone. And Terrell Farley is furious. Fumble it out to the one foot line. Nonetheless, second and 31. You can't get any closer. There they got him. There's the safety. Jamel Williams. Free kick coming from the 20. Matt Teague. Newton Childs to the 30. Makes the move to the 40. And that's a huge tackle by Fred Weary. Well, Amon Green has come into the backfield. The true freshman who set the all-time freshman running record, rushing record for the Cornhuskers this year with 1,086 yards. Frazier advances the football across the 50. He's as good a back, Tom Osborne said, he might become the best back they've ever had in Nebraska. Yeah, here he is. No running room on his first carry. Keith Council and Ben Hanks. Third and seven. And the Cornhuskers go with a, a different look. Spreading it out themselves to a five receiver set. They're running Florida's offense. <laughs> Now they practiced it enough against it. Quarterback draw in Frazier. They broke, let him break a tackle and it gets to the outside. Frazier with blockers in front. It looked like the Gators might stop him short of the first down. And instead, Tommy Frazier takes it all the way inside of the corner. Broke it's Frazier's longest run of the season. 31 yard run. Green stretches to the 12. Green and Schuster now. Brian Schuster in at fullback on second and six. And a timeout called by Nebraska's. And Osborne unhappy with Cornhuskers. They got their attention for the timeout here on the pitch. Green to the corner. Near a first down. Tim Carpenter has come in as a second tight end, joining Mark Gilman. Fullback time. And Schuster almost got there. One and five all time. Oh, don't make me I'm feel sorry. bad. Well, it's a new year. Second and goal now. Here's Armand Green. He is in for the touchdown. The Nebraska Ibacks just keep pounding away at you. First, Lawrence Phillips, now Amon Green, the true freshman. Brown makes it now 16 unanswered for the Cornhuskers. They have fence. Spurrier spread the field out with his normal offensive approach, five wide outs. He got blitz, and all of a sudden, since that safety, the bottom has fallen out here. We have seen a huge momentum change, and what a hit. Nine minutes to go in the second quarter. 22 to 10, Nebraska. In the zone 13, it's worst starting position. And Elijah Williams. In a hurry here on the down clock. Hilliard out to the 23. Boy, this will be a big play coming up. Still 12 seconds on the play clock, plenty of time. Werfel steadies his crew, gives it to Elijah Williams, and this is going to be close. Exactly what they wanted to get done prior to the game. Robbie Stevenson. And uh, this play whistled dead. Dead ball. 
the way of game on the offense. Five yard penalty. Yeah. Has been a Jekyll and Hyde performance so far for the Gators. Short kick fielded. Fielded by Octavius McFarlane, and Nebraska set up an excellent position again. And those, again, are not uh, long series for them, scoring series. Six plays, five plays, seven plays on the touchdown drives. Lawrence Phillips has returned, and he's down at the 40-yard line. Masked off of that in the first quarter alone. Well, just a few minutes maybe in the second quarter to put that total up top, but Tommy Frazier decked for no gain on the place. Racing a third and eight. Frazier zips it, caught by Clester Johnson. Florida over there trying to point out the spot. So the fourth down play, that's the first down for Nebraska. Play action, looking downfield, and caught out of bounds by Brendan Holbein. Defensive holding gives Nebraska first down at the 20. Inside they go. Florida finally sees the open man, Jeff Makavica. In zone, man was open. Gilman, love that program so much. Those homegrown kids, most of them that walk on to Lincoln, they crawl there. <laughs> Frazier, down all the way, and the late pitch, third and goal from the eight. They've loaded up the backfield. John Bedrill comes out of there, and now Frazier rolled out, looking, looking, and through the end zone. They made 13 of 16 field goals this year. Looking for a 15-point lead, 26-yard boot, split it. So, Nebraska with 3.46 to go in the second quarter. Now has taken a 25-10 lead. Court Huskers with a huge second quarter. Scored 19 in this quarter. The lead 25 to 10. Brown's kick taken by Redell Anthony at the five. He ran one back this year against Auburn. But there's no daylight on that one. Tackled at the 23. On that Nebraska D. Get a starting assignment and you've got one. There were four receivers in the game. Warfel still trying this spread formation. Florida lives by this front and gun. Bottom of your screen on second and three. Tim Florida just needs to get an offensive drive started here and get back into their rhythm. Worth it. Cuts back to find Hilliard again near the 50. Third down. Third down and three. Nebraska warning the blitz. There are flags now with that Nebraska may have jumped. And Hilliard was out there. Offside, defense. Five yard penalty. First down. So successful going to Doring on the game's opening series. He got four balls on that drive. See if Wolfe goes back to him. That pass picked off. Picked off by Michael Booker. Free room ahead. Michael Booker in for the touchdown. He was bumped, and the ball had no steam on it. 32-10. Over there explaining to Steve Spurrier that I couldn't get my body into that throw. I couldn't come through with my arm because I got hit. Boy, is Nebraska coming through here in this quarter. And the fake again on the reverse. come in uncontested again on the quarterback. They came back and scored over 60 points in that game. So this game is far from over. If Unanswered points. Don't count them out. 
So, Mike Rucker, a freshman, makes the sack. Here they come on Warfel. He gets it away in time. Going bumped out of bounds by Mike Minter. In this game, 0-4 in the Fiesta all time. But they're in on him again. Eric Warfield blitzing. Ability of Nebraska to blitz Florida. Three return men back. And it's McFarlane again. And hey, Nebraska's got a chance to score again with 118. From the shotgun. Remember, Nebraska has one timeout to work with. That's made by John Ventral. Jimmy Ray Stevens was Werfel's high school coach. Frazier. Frazier inside and out of bounds to stop the clock. Five yards with one second to go. That was wide left. Third and one. Easily getting the yardage. Phillips down at the 45. So, under a minute to go. Wide open, wide open. Is Holbein, Holbein making a move to get down near the 10-yard line. So, with no tight end in this alignment, clock running, 13 seconds. High snap, and uh, let's see, the senior scoops it up and gets out of bounds to stop the clock with 27 seconds. Get his team in there and just get him settled down just like he did against Tennessee. Short snap it, they do, to Phillips. And he's down at the five. Third and four play. Frazier rolling out, ball deflected up in the air. Throw it because they were going to run out of time. Well, Chris Brown on the kick. And good from 24 yards. Particularly back into the game. That's his big coach. Look at this. Hilliard picks it up at last. Bouncing around to the 17-yard line. This play expires. He scored 29 points in the quarter. Consider that Auburn scored the most this year against Auburn. Uh, Auburn scored the most against Florida, 38. Tennessee scored 37. Nebraska scored 35 in one half of action. There's not much that shakes up Steve Spurrier, but maybe this. Teague the kick to Benning and Childs. They pop it up short. And it's fielded by Nebraska and downed at the 32-yard line. Be kept overnight. They reduce the dislocation. There is no fracture. He will stay overnight in the local hospital. Lawrence Phillips with the first carry and good room again. The Phillips they go. And that time, Chester got him. And the play whistle dead. Dead ball, delay of game on the offense. Five yard penalty, repeat the third down. Uh, I think this is a, a good break for Florida here. Oh, third and seven. Take into the line to Phillips. The Vicka bouncing around to the 43 yard line. And enough for the first. Go first down. On the 43, Phillips trying the right side. And out to the 47 with Ben Hank. Second down, six. Phillips doing a lot of work now. And uh, virtually no game. Maybe give him a yard, David. Pretty good fake. That throws for the Hands open. Cluster Johnson. Cluster Johnson down to the 16, 17 yard line. Well, the halftime break certainly didn't throw uh, Nebraska out of rhythm. Inside, Makovica for no gain. Nice with that. Second down and nine. Phillips blocking in front for his quarterback. And a one-yard gain for five minutes. Frazier for the end zone and intercepted. Second time tonight, 
And Anthone Lott makes the pick in the end zone. Joe Williams in the backfield. Will this uh, give Florida momentum or just, just, just a blip on the Nebraska screen here tonight? Cramping. They put some bomb on it, and he should be good to go. Jim? First 15 from the pocket. Werfel looking for a big one. Oh, and he had Redell Anthony. Werfel getting his protection, trying the right sideline. And Hilliard was uh, the man he was looking for. Five receivers in the game. Third down. Third down, 15. Look out. Farley. Werfel never had a chance. Dumped them at the six. Nebraska defense puts you in vectors coming from both ends. Robbie Stevenson's punt. He felt some pressure from Farley. Takes a favorable Florida kick. And then down by Benning at the 45-yard line. It's at least honest and slow down the pass rush. It would really help them in the game. But as it turned out, they're minus negative yards. I'm sure they never expected that big of a disaster. Their season low is 81 yards. And here's Nebraska <laughs> just grinding it out. The Frazier not missing any action. Cramp taken care of. In fact, he's going to tuck it under. Look at this. Running for good yardage. Out of bounds at the 35. They knocked him right into the kicker's net. All of that for a first down. <laughs> Phillips. One. This guy's a great one. Second and six. Running up the middle for only a yard with Maka Vicka. Where your starters this year? Okay. Well, probably going to be a second team all America. Let's put them on the team. They know. Phillips. Look at the pass. Reggie Ball was wide open. One of the few things that Lawrence Phillips hasn't uh, performed at a high level tonight. And on, had to get just past the 25, and they have stopped them. They're not even going to measure, so some half yard shy of the necessary yardage. Six minutes to go. Third quarter with Florida trailing 35 to 10. One second on the play clock, just beat it. And now, can they beat him over here, one-on-one -on -one coverage? They do. Hilliard, Hilliard going out of bounds at midfield. Gators wasting no time from the 50. Setting up a reverse. Retail Anthony. Good tackle there by Terrell Farley. Second down, six. Werfel, man open. Defender fell down. That'd be your game plan, wouldn't it? Looking for a little more trickery. Back to Retail Anthony. And defenders everywhere. Second down and 14. Werfel. Picked off again. Intercepted. Eric Stokes. To the Cornhuskers with four minutes and change remaining third quarter. Frazier. Out to the 41. Phillips takes it outside. Saw that it was shut down where it was intended to go. Could shortened this game, I would say, rather quickly. Third quarter racing by. Phillips. Look at that. So graceful the way he gallops. It's the senior from Omaha, Nebraska. Comes in for a play from scrimmage for the first time tonight. And they go fullback up the middle with Makovica. Childs, though, he was the man who initially replaced Phillips early in the season before he was injured. Frazier loading up, going down the sideline. Good coverage. Well done. We've seen this only two other times tonight. Five receivers, quarterback draw, Tommy Frazier. Goodbye, Tommy Frazier with a touchdown. 35 yards. Jim, we said he was the most difficult athlete in college football today to try and defend. He can run like crazy, this guy. <laughs> Look at this. And Spurrier just despondent. 
They spread them out across the field, just like Florida did, but they run the quarterback draw with Tommy Frazier. Great block by the right guard, Steve Ott, number 69. They just spread them out with the five wides, and Frazier is over 100 yards. He has 120 yards on the night on the ground. And the Cornhaskers, Nebraska just annihilating Florida. This is a Cornhusker crush. 42 to 10. We'll run it out. Hilliard will. Three yard line, the starting point. 214 remaining third quarter. Nebraska has scored 36 unanswered points after trailing 10-6 after Orange Phillips in that offensive line. Second down and eight. That was good. It's just a superior team. It's what I'm saying, all that pressure. It's just uh, made it impossible for this man who led the nation in passing this year. Third and eight. And that's a completion to Terry Jackson. He started playing there in 1969. They've all won in 22. And here's Werfel getting away from the heat, finding an open man. Here's a play that's worked. Chris Doring, who has been silent for what well, seems like ages now. They, they, they're a tough group of competitors. They're the number two team in the country. And don't forget it. Werfel loading that gun and firing it long. And the ball is caught. Caught for a touchdown by Hilliard. That was some over-the-shoulder catch. 35-yard strike. Now Ike Hilliard caught an 82-yard touchdown last year in the Sugar Bowl. They set a Sugar Bowl record. He gets on the board here tonight for the Gators. Here we see Ike Hilliard. Nebraska is not in their typical bump-and-run coverage. They were off the ball. They gave him a cushion. He took advantage of it. Got a man, Redell Anthony. That makes it 42-18. You never, never know what's going to happen. Kick away. And deep one, too. Damon Benning. And conversely, when you're Steve Spurrier, you're wondering, can I get my team back into the game? A, a pass here, a pass there. All of a sudden, I can get back into this football game. Before he injured a knee and uh, lost the starting position to injury. Well, all three of their tailbacks are over seven yards per carry average. It's Frazier adding more numbers, more yards to those. Big oh, they don't have him yet. Look at Tommy Frazier. How many tackles can one man break? Touchdown. Five yards, put him over 200 on the night, a career high. What did he tell you about tackle? Steve Spurrier made this statement. We have got to tackle well to win this football game. Steve knew, like every good football coach knows, when it comes down to a championship playoff game, you need to get your fundamentals, you need to execute your fundamentals. In this case, it's tackling. It's not that the Florida players don't want to tackle. It's not that they're, they're not good enough to tackle. They're just having to tackle great players. His second touchdown run of the night, 14 carries, make it 195, a career high. And this, in his final game as the Nebraska quarterback, on his way to a 33-3 record as a starter. It's almost as though Florida thought the whistle had blown, but it hadn't. No one complained about it. I mean, he shook off with four tackles. Daniels, Wright, Weary. No one was left. The 95 
Orange Bowl. And who do you think the favorite is to be the MVP at the 96 Fiesta? He's going to get a couple votes. <laughs> no. That will uh, end things in the third quarter. Retail Anthony to the 36-yard line. But through three, Nebraska 49, Florida 18. And CBS Sports coverage of the 1996 Fiesta Bowl continues after this message and a word from your local station. Florida keeps the starting group in at the 36 to start the fourth quarter. Driving last time for a touchdown. And Terry Jackson swarmed right away by Terrell Farley. Second and 11. And Warfel down for a seventh sack. He's never been sacked that many times in his career. I think points one and two apply also. Ball control, they've had it, and they've lined up properly also. They've not given him a, a cheap touchdown. How about an interception? Third one of the night, Tony Beeman. Himself when he came back behind a guy named Tom Tommy Frazier. So he moved the defense to be able to play. And here's Phillips returning. Second down and four. And that tackle by Chester. The Super Bowl is coming up here in less than four weeks. Pitch, Phillips, well played. Well played by Anthone Lotso. This game tonight, that number 11 will go on to another special player. Jim? He has been a special one for Coach Spurrier. And look at this, ball free. Still down, and finally recovered by the Cornhuskers. So, Jesse Cush came on to punt for the first time tonight. Brendan Holbein at the 22. Frazier saw option one close down, went for option two at second and ten. Pitch. Phillips doing a good job of grabbing that one. And take third and four. Shotgun Frazier. There he has his 200. Tommy Frazier, 15 carries, 204 yards. Career numbers in his final game at Nebraska. Phillips will lose a couple to his total. Second and goal from the 10. Well. Johnny Rutledge does not count as a sack, just a five-yard uh, loss off of Frazier's total. Third and goal! Phillips with that last effort found the end zone! His third touchdown of the night. Third and goal at the 15. If it's not Tommy Frazier, it's Lawrence Phillips up the middle. John Tadiska with a big block, back up lineman. And this one is blocked. Florida can pick it up. Fred Weary is trying to run the distance for, uh, for an added two points. Well, uh, Terry, what was that comment about uh, what plays does Florida have to, to rush with tonight? Well, the offensive line coach said he didn't like many of the running plays against this Nebraska defense, and you can't blame them. They're, they're the second best against the rush in the entire country. Anthony's run back with a flag. Oh, Little Gimpy leaving oh, the field. Oh, the team. Ten, ten yard penalty for spot the foul. First, first and ten. ten. In Illinois, and all he did in his one start was throw six touchdowns, a school record. What do you have to do to be a starter at the quarterback position in Florida? Resser and has uh, the catch at the 21 yard line. That's from the 20, halfway through this final quarter. Resser having a hard time with his footing. But McGriff makes another grab. It's 
going to happen. You don't always get him into a game. You get him into a championship game like this, give him some real experience. First and 10. Doring out at the 40. Ocean, and, and he and Danny Werfel are two of the top players in the country at their position. They're both outstanding. Besser, long ball over the head of Hilliard. 10 and 10 from the 47. Presser. He also took a little hit, low hit, as he was trying to... And, and I was so impressed with that football program. It's a program. Bob Devaney built it. And I, I Two think, and three. I, I really think Florida should be. I, I think they're... Yeah, they beat them head-to-head. They, they beat them head-to-head. That has to be weighted, you would think. This Fiesta Bowl provided by News Hawk 5 helicopter, KPHO in Phoenix. Starting quarterback, what do you think of tonight's game? Oh, a great game. I never I bet. Thought, I never thought it would be this, but what what's different about this? Uh, your game was a lot different back then. What's different about it? Well, much larger and bigger, and we had to go both ways. Uh, we didn't have any specialists, so to speak. So it's first and goal from the ten. Barringer into the line for about five. Mammoth players that were incredibly well built and conditioned. Damon Benning comes in. He's the fourth tailback to see action tonight. Took it for a thousand yards the rest of the way during the season. They just keep bringing the tailbacks at you. I'm telling you. Barringer, touchdown. Extra point by Ted Ratzliff. On the Waverly, Nebraska, he boots it through. 62 to 18. All right, Terry. You were a little nervous about those tiebreaker rules. You want to go over them right now, or is it not necessary? <laughs> oh, Jim, never in my wildest dreams would I have thought. Anthony keeps. Anthony breaking it free. Riddell Anthony down the sideline. He ran one back against Auburn. He's got one tonight against Nebraska. 92 yards. What's great about that, Jim, is it shows you the spirit of college football. You just keep competing. Some days it's your day, some days it's not. But if you just keep competing, you have a chance to keep your pride and feel good about yourself. You thought I was kidding about the tiebreaker? Here they come. Well, they faked that a few times tonight on the on the kick, and Anthony able to get past Chris Brown. I love it when players just keep fighting and keep competing. Mm -hmm. I, I'll tell you, Steve Spurrier does too. Second or third team, all I want you to do is play hard. So he has to respect that Nebraska's still playing hard, and his kids did right there, too. Sure they are. They're still playing hard. And Nebraska continues to Look play hard. Look at this. Hard. They got a chance to pick up two. It's Christian Peter. Christian Peter, all for naught, the rule in the play dead. <laughs> Christian Peter goes all the way downfield with the football, but they're going to bring it back. 62-24. Dill Anthony, 92-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Failed to complete the two-point try. Looked like a pure fumble, but... Armand <laughs> Green into the line for about three. 45 with 62 points. And Childs... Getting the handoff to the 49-yard line. Started working for this game. He believed, that the Nebraska coaching staff believed, that it really kept the timing for the option and for their offense in sync. To win a second straight national championship. Fourth and uh, a yard to go. Armand Green reaching for it. And he's going to have enough for the first down. Certainly had a cheer this year. James Sims has come in at tailback. James Sims for about three yards. He carried second and seven. Damon Benning has come in now, tailback. 
And Billy Legate, a freshman from Elgin, Nebraska, get it. Third and seven, and Matt Terman in at quarterback. Terman on the pitch to Childs. Childs out of bounds after getting the first down. Just for one. I think they will be. I think uh, they have a great chance, probably along with Tennessee. You can't rule out Nebraska, though. I don't know how you how you don't pick them again. This will pass. It always does in football. Second down and eight. And uh, Nebraska's James Sims out into the secondary. Look out. Look out. Sims stopped at the one. 629 yards total offense. Any questions? No, they're going to go for the coach. They got him after all. He doesn't mind. Not now. Come on, Tom. Go ahead. Crack a smile. You have won a second straight national championship. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. And tonight, we talk about domination. In a championship game, in a big game, you don't see it to this degree very often. We may, we may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight, Jim. Well, the Chevrolet most viable players of the game are Tommy Frazier from Nebraska, Chris Doring of Florida. Celebrating its 25th year of college football sponsorship, Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. Nebraska, there is no doubt, they are the nation's national champion, by far the best in college football.